Today, I want to build a Mestastic node mounted semi-permanently in my truck. I want it to charge while I drive, but be powered by its own internal battery when I'm not in the car. And having a solar panel to keep the battery topped up would be a bonus. I'm going to use a board from Rack Wireless this time. I've got a Mesh-tastic starter kit, which includes a Rack 19007 baseboard and a Rack 4631 core module. This module uses the NRF52 chip, which is the best board for long battery life. It's got Bluetooth 5.0 built into it as well. The starter kit comes with a couple of small antennas, but I have the Unity Solar Box that has the antennas built in, so I'll use that instead. I'm going to use just a single 1100 milliamp hour battery uh, in this build, and we'll need a USB cable so I can charge it while I drive. This is the Unity Box with the backing plate having the antennas built into it. Got a 915 megahertz LoRa antenna and the Bluetooth antenna both on that one board and this is the board mounted just need to drill a hole so I can have the USB cable plug in hole is drilled and just connect the little pigtail leads to the relevant antennas tape the battery inside the lid and connect everything up battery is connected solar is connected and the two antennas are connected. I'm going to plug into the PC now and upgrade the firmware. Although if you buy the rack boards as the Mestastic starter kit, the firmware is actually already on the board, but it's always a good idea to get the latest and greatest firmware. And here we go. Just head to flasher.mestastic.org, select your board, select the firmware you want, either stable or live on the edge and get the alpha software and let's flash it to the board. All the instructions on how to get your board into DFU mode are there on the screen. Just follow the instructions and you'll have new firmware in no time. Now I'll browse to client.mestastic.org and just connect to my device. I need to set up a few things before we can transmit. To start off with we're going to give the device a name. I'm just going to use the last three digits of my number plate on my car, um, just in the phonetic alphabet, that'll do, and hit save on that one. The device will reboot, just refresh the screen, we just have to change the region as well. It's unset when you get the board, so you need to set it to your own locale, mine's ANZ, Australia and New Zealand, and the board will reboot again. Next is an optional step which I like to do on my devices, and that's to add an admin channel. That allows me to remotely configure my devices from other nodes. Um, you just have to set up the same channel called admin with the same pre-shared key on your devices to be able to do this. This will trigger another reboot, so I'm just gonna go back into the client, and just check the channels are both there, my existing primary channel and my new admin channel are now both available to be used. I'll head to my phone now and go into the Bluetooth settings and find my device. There it is, I'll add that. The pin code for any device that doesn't have a screen by default is 123456. Type that in and we're connected. We'll now go into the Mestastic app and just find my board. Click on that one and it'll load everything up. There we are, ready to use the node. Time to mount it in the car, I think. So it's a sort of semi-permanent arrangement hidden behind the back middle headrest in my truck. There you can see the solar panel facing outwards. It's plugged in by USB into a socket that's in the back of the truck. And it looks all right, neat, tidy. Easy to remove if I have to for now. Uh, I could find a more permanent position for it. Now for some test results. No footage, I'm sorry, so you might have to watch the parrots having a bath. I was really surprised with how well the built-in antenna works. I've got a Nano G2 portable node, which I'm really impressed with, and this setup was able to send and receive messages at about the same locations as the G2. I wasn't expecting that. I like that I can have the node in my car at work and connect to it via Bluetooth, as I can't connect to the repeater I have set up in town directly from my office though now I can Bluetooth to my truck node, which is outside on the street, and then have visibility of my repeater through that. 
I suppose that's how the mesh works. Thanks for hanging around. I've got another solar repeater set up ready to build next. So hopefully I'll have a video on that soon with a bit more node building and a bit less parrot. <laughs> Uru.